I'm uh, actually right now uh, standing just uh, a few meters away from Paris's Place de l'Opéra. As you can uh, as you can hear and see, uh, the atmosphere is very festive. Uh, there's been a, a lot of chanting, uh, students carrying uh, posters, bursting into song, and uh, really um, a feeling that this is really a. a extremely important for these students here who say they say are fighting for their survival now of course it's not just in paris that there's uh, that, that there's movements going on we're seeing up and down the country students getting involved in cities across france and not just students also workers we've seen wearing uh, armbands in solidarity with the movement also being encouraged uh, to go to work and to uh, strike up debates with their with their colleagues and with their bosses uh, i've heard a few interesting uh, chants as well uh, one i heard was uh, one two three degrees it's a crime against humanity and also worth pointing out that a lot of the banners you can see around me here they're in French and English of course students here wanting to get their message out to the wider world where protests are taking place in at least 110 in 110 countries with uh, up to uh, more than a million young people expected to take part and what are the French activists main concerns Andrew well there are several concerns uh, from activists here if, Particularly, well, the, the main point is that they think the French government simply isn't taking the issue seriously enough. Uh, they, they say the, the country uh, is over-reliant on nuclear power, which they, which they see as being unsustainable. Uh, the French government, of course, has reacted by saying that they do care. Uh, there was uh, the, uh, the first session held yesterday of, that, uh, of the uh, Ecological Defence Council, but uh, we didn't hear many new policy announcements coming out of that. Uh, we did hear an announcement by the uh, French uh, Prime Minister, Edouard Philippe, of a new fund to help encourage homeowners to, uh, to convert their homes to renewable energy sources. But uh, many of the activists here are saying that uh, move, moves like that are uh, too little too late and won't be enough to combat, to combat uh, the uh, threat of climate change.